see man giving a bigger and see them live in a flesh the timid thousand Jesus brought on a busy poor little man that's gonna get busy yes people it's pro boxer I'm from Norbury SW16 I'm 28 years old funny enough I got into boxing with my friend asking us to to join white collar boxing I thought it was a joke I done the Christmas show for white collar boxing I had all my friends and family come and watch uh, it was a good performance, I enjoyed the boxing and from there a few people came and asked I want to learn how to box so I started going to an amateur boxing class and then from there that's when my boxing career just started. So I've had two white collar fights, that's how I started and then I went into amateur boxing and from amateur boxing I had uh, three fights, uh, I won two, lost one um, and then from there Sunday Smoke came involved. Oh, Sunday smoke, I hit up Bouncer and Bouncer let me get a show. Um, had uh, three Sunday smoke fights, won all of them, um, and then now I'm on Wicked and Bad. Yeah! <laughs> Wicked and Bad's battle with Karim was an interesting one. I felt like I dominated him. I felt like I, um, I should have got a knockdown. I felt like his face was on the floor, the rope weren't there. Um, Karim, I want take nothing away from Karim, he's a good boxer, but I feel like he's a meaty guy in general. So um, I feel like this show here, looking at about four, is going to be one not to miss, trust me. Uh, it didn't surprise me, everything that um, went on, I expected. He caught me with a few good shots, but when I'm under pressure, I, I come up my shell more. That's how he caught me and then I ended up rocking him and he went flat on the floor. But he didn't surprise me, that's, that's, that's the question, but I feel like, in general, I, I, I'm a better boxer and I will prove that on Wicked and Bad 4. I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, at the time, at the time, I was fuming with the result. I felt like I won, especially if that knockdown was counted. But I've watched it back and I, I, I easily feel like it was a, a, a fair draw, if not a win, but I'm not, I can't complain what the results was. The results, the judge gives the results, it is what it is, but, yeah, a draw, a draw was reasonable. Fair I'll enough. take the draw. Oh, it is. All my other opponents, after the fight, yeah, we can be cool in that, like, Karts, Isaac, yeah, we can even Trey in Dubai, you know what I'm saying? But as for this Teletubby guy here, yeah, we would never Teletubby be Teletubby guy, yeah, you was running around, bro. You was bro, getting you, stumbled. Bro, you, but the rope saved you, You was Bambi on ice, bro. You want to call me Teletubby? You was Bambi on ice, bro. You was sliding ice, everywhere. You didn't know where Bambi he was. Bambi on ice, he says. Shut up, man. Your coach I'm is happy to get the draw, mate. He was like, yeah, yeah. Phone. What? I'm trying to take my phone. You're taking your girl's phone, but you want to take go, my bro. phone. Let's go, bro. Yo, chill, chill. Dumb prick. Man, pull it over your girl's phone. Come try to take my phone, you dickhead, bruv. Yeah? I'm going to buy your girl a new phone. How about that? i buy your girl a new phone so you can't touch it. Pussy, yo, bruv. Know yourself. Ken Rose, fucking pussy hiding up, behind everyone. Man's got Come stand Ken to my Rose. face, bro. Come stand to my face, bro. Since the fight, um, Krim tried to get a little five minute fame. The first day trash talk, uh, Bouncer and Tarum put us up and then he started saying a bit too much. So I had to lower his peg a bit and let him know that I'm not that guy to try and talk to. Yeah, my training camp's going very well. We train at least five times a week, sometimes twice a day. Um, I'm training differently for this fight for Karim because before, we didn't really see too much about Karim, but now that I've fought him and I've seen how he moves, I know how to defeat this guy, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a nice fight, very nice fight. Karim asking for ten rounds was the worst mistake he could have done in his life. The the, the Teletubby was blown after five rounds, and now he wants to go ten. So that is more than happy for me, to be honest. Um, I don't see this going ten rounds. I see this ending in after six six rounds, maybe six rounds minimum. I'm probably not the favourite. But it's better for me not to be the favourite. Let everyone feel like Krim is the guy. Krim's going to be this, this superstar. He ain't going to be shit. After the Wicked and Bad 4, everyone will know who Pro Boxer is. So Wicked and Bad Dubai was an interesting fight. My game plan was to keep it long. Um, don't let him get too close to me because I knew Trey was going to come out swinging and the game plan went exactly to plan. He came out guns blazing. I kept it long. I knocked him in the first round and it was just a, a great fight, great experience. Enjoyed it very much. At the way in Dubai, face to face, Trey tried to give me a little cheeky smile while wearing a condom on his head. Um, I don't accept that, so I had to give him a little slap and let him know that it's not that sort of game. We don't play them stuff around here. Then uh, it got a bit feisty, security guards got involved and the story went on. 
Ready? James Wallace from Team JW Training, and I'm from South London. Um, simple, really. I wanted to leave the old life behind. I've been around boxing through family members and just moved into it. I met Pro through Sunday Smoke while I was training Pro PT. Well, do I think he's improved so much? Um, I've got really close with him. We've been on a journey, just got back from Dubai. His boxing skills and ability has, has, you know, has come so much on in the last couple of months that I've been training him, and I'm really proud of his, his technical ability. He's really improved. Right, my thoughts on the previous fight with Karim and Pro. Um, I thought, to be honest with you, I thought it was a fair draw at the end before I saw the knockdown was so clean like that. With the knockdown, I thought we should have nicked it, but he started well, Krim. But if I told you last time, if you watched the interview last time, I told you when I take him into deep waters, he's going to struggle. He's a good fighter. I take nothing away from him. I've got a lot of respect for their camp and for Krim. But I told you, watch, when we take him out that round, mate, he's done. One more round in that fight, he was finished. And I believe that him asking for 10 rounds, and when I answer that question right here, right now, if he's asked for that, that suits me down to the ground for what I'm ready because we just get stronger. We don't fade, we get stronger. And we are ready for any amount of rounds he wants to choose, we are ready. He's tested us with the best shots he's got and we've walked away and put him down in that same round. At the beginning of the fight, Krim started strong and um, what I wanted uh, Pro to do was keep his distance, yeah? We didn't have to mix it up with Krim, but inexperienced Pro's got a bit of a tempo. He was getting caught with a few shots here and there as he was in, in close. But, he started to get comfortable and, I, and when he hit Pro with them big shots and he did, he hit him with about five, four or five really clean shots and Pro was out on his feet. This is what I said in the interview as well. I said, make no mistake about it, my boy can take a bang. And I said that, you watch it back. And he weathered that storm. As he come in, I'm proud of him for him. It's a lot of people will go over from shots like that. It just makes me proud to take shots like that and still fight forward. He hit him with a lovely shot. And if it wasn't for the ropes, that was such a clean knockdown if you watch it, there's, there's no way you can say, with a knockdown like that, that cancels that onslaught out, which he got caught with a good few punches. It will cancel it out because he's a 10-8 round. But without that, I would be happy with the draw. But as it threw late, later rounds, as we got out of that round, and, and Karim was actually looking over, sitting down, dripping with sweat, seeing that we were getting strong. I never let my man sit down. He wasn't allowed to sit down in that fight. He was getting stronger. Every time I said, look over there, look at him. I said, look at him. He's sitting down, his head's to the floor. In the fifth round, we're looking over there, he's now bleeding, yeah? He's got no answer for pro, we're getting stronger. He's got one punch now and they're getting weaker and weaker and weaker and we're getting more and more confident. And towards the end, I agree, before seeing a knockdown, I would have been happy with the draw because we were just getting our foot in. That's why I say now we've got his number, we're going to train exactly for that. Now he's got to come to us to fight, which we know that. He's smaller, he's heavier, but he's shorter, his reach is smaller and no matter what, he's going to have to come to us. So. They're gonna have a game plan, we're gonna have a game plan, and I, I, I wish everyone the best. I've got maximum respect for him, but you know, 10 rounds, thank you fucking very much. My prediction for the upcoming fight, I think it's gonna be a really good fight, really tight fight, but I think seventh round, we're putting him away. If not, we're gonna win on points, but you know, honestly, it's gonna be a difficult fight. We're gonna take him into deep waters again, you know, our defense is gonna be better, our movement's gonna be better, and you know, We'll see him on fight night, but I'm looking forward to this one, and uh, so is everyone, and you know, that's all I've got to say really on it. My predictions, my predictions for weekend about four against Karim. I don't see it going 10 rounds, I see it going maximum six rounds with TKO or knockout. He will be on the floor. Either way, I'm going to be very happy. Karim, I hope you trade him very hard because come weekend about four, September the 18th, you will be losing and your name will be finished. Yeah, so cut the cakes and hit the gym. Um, yeah, guys, we're back again for the Wicked and Bad 4 documentary. As you can see, my life has changed. I've been able to benefit myself, benefit my mum, benefit my life, thanks be to God. As you can see, I've got the new bezel on, got the new sponsors on, and I'm still where, I'm still where it all started. You get it, like, Karim. You got lucky in the last fight, you're lucky to get a draw, but this time it's not going to be no draw, it's going to be a straight knockout, yeah? I'm only going up in life and it's not going to stop, trust me, yeah? This is where I've been throughout my whole life and I'm still here and I'm still going to stay here for a long time and just do better for everyone that's around my community, yeah? So let me show you that round and show you that what's good. From the age of 17, from the age of 17, I've always been independent. I've 
had my, my little daughter, I had my baby mum. Um, I bought a one bedroom flat above this shop right here. That was my house with my, with my baby mum and my little kid. Always been trying to hustle and make, make my daughter's life good. And now, thanks be to God, boxing's taken over and we're doing well for ourselves. Do you get it? So, and it's only going to get better. Yeah, so I'm just trying to show everyone that no matter what man does, I've always been pushing through and still trying to elevate my life. Now, I'm a wicked about four, within two years of boxing, and as you can see, everything happens for a reason, you get it? So, I just want to let you know, like, within three years, I bought a mum's shop, yeah? After living above my old flat when I was 17, I picked this location for a reason because it shows where I came from. Yeah, so anything can happen. You get it? So now I've got my, my kids with me, I've got God with me, I've got my mum with me, and nothing's going to stop me from elevating. You get it? When it comes to Wicked Match 4, I will be taking Krim's head off. Trust me on that one. Like I said, so, so yeah, I bought a shop and I thought to myself, why not utilise it? So I opened the calf. So from the morning, you can come for a fry up, you can come for your little full English breakfast. I've got one nice little British woman that does all the food, everything nice and proper. And then my mum, as I'm always going to be a mummy's boy, you get it? She's the best African Ghanaian chef you can get. So I thought, my mum's going to have a Ghanaian shop. As you can see, everything's patterned, everything goes nice. You get it? Gonna, this is my shop. They all, they all saw you, Krim, slumped on the, on, the, on the canvas here, had the shot filled up, and it was, it was nice. This is the shot from, we, we didn't even take nothing down. This has been the same Fort and Heath from 17, 79, or wherever they, where it started from, you get it? So, this is that it all started, man. Nothing has changed. Come Crystal Palace play, this whole road's chock up. Like, Crystal Palace football ground is down the road. They're even playing right now as we speak, so this road is a very busy road, a very good location, so everyone comes down here and have a good good one, two drinks, and it's always busy, man. This is Fulton Heath, Norby round the corner where, where I live, so can't complain, that's a big fuck off dog. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, Guys, I'm just letting you know my lifestyle. Like I've been, I've, I've gone through it. Like as you already know from the last documentary, I got stabbed and God kept me alive. You get it? So God had a purpose for me to still be here now, and I guess this is the reason why He kept me alive because He knew that I'm gonna be a champ one day, and He knew that Krim's gonna be sleeping on the floor. You get it? So that's why He kept me alive. Thanks be to God. And now. I can do better for myself, my kids, my mum, my whole family, you get it. My brother, unfortunately, he's in jail. Um, but I know he's proud of me for everything that I'm doing right now. So I'm doing this for him, I'm doing this for me. And as soon as he's out, he will be good, as I am right now, do you get it? So I just want to let you know, everything I'm doing is for myself, for my family, and for my pro army. I know you guys are the support I've been the support I've been getting from a lot of people has been overwhelming. Like the messages, the pictures, the everything. Like I appreciate it. Like without my supporters and everything, everyone pushing me, I, I don't think I'll be where I am today. You get it. So I appreciate everyone that's been supporting me. My sponsors, GD Roofing, Spaceboy UK. Like everyone, I've been getting a lot of help from people because they can see the. They can see how I'm growing in life. Wallace as well has been doing a lot for me. Wild Hydrate has been helping me with energy drinks. Everything has been going well. And a lot of people don't get how I've done this in a short amount of time. And it's, it's, it's been a lot. And it's all been hard work. I train at least five times a week. Like I put my heart into what I do because I know where I want to go. And it's not just you no. Know, small small boxing what my life is going to be depends on how hard I train yeah so 
I train as much as I can for the best reasons because I want my life to be successful and I want my whole family to be good at the end of everything that I do. Do you get it? So, again, I'm talking about Karim because I, the passion that I have for this guy. Listen, let me tell you something. I see Trey, yeah? And um, Carts, Cobain, and everyone that I fought, from Sunday Smoke to Wicked and Bad, I can actually message them on Instagram and be like, yo, I'm having a party, do you want to come round? But you see the passion that I have for Karim? I don't like this guy, yeah? I don't like him, I won't like him, and it's never going to be friends, yeah? He's going to carry on fixing his scooters for the rest of his life, and he ain't going to be shit, yeah? I'm going to smoke this guy. The passion I've got for this guy is not no... This is, this is not no acting, this is not, this is going to be war, this is 10 rounds that this Teletubby guy has chosen and he's going to regret it, yeah, so I'm letting you not know, this, we're going to war, come press conference, come face to face, come wicked and bad four September the 18th, everything's going to be war, yeah, so I hope you don't know, I ain't coming to play no games, yeah, I'm coming for smoke, so hope make sure you're not ready, the, even, the, the disrespect, for this guy to feel like he can even beat me, like he's seen my fights. This guy's had one fight on on Wicked and Bad, one dead fight on Sunday Smoke that the guy couldn't fight, and now you think he can come compete with me, bro? What I'm gonna do to you, bro? I'm gonna humiliate you, bro. On my life, yeah. After I, after I bang you over, yeah, and I can see you're wobbled, I'm, not, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you alone. Literally, I'm gonna leave you alone because I need this fight to go the full ten rounds so I can embarrass you, bro. Yeah, this ain't gonna be no three, four round fight. I need to humiliate you because you are a waste man. You are a punk, a waste man and a bully. And you're all going to know why I'm calling this guy a bully real soon because he's just a waste man, yeah? You can't come bully a real, a real fighter, yeah? Because you are a meaty guy, you're not bad and you're just a waste man, yeah? You're an overweight boxer that's now kind of come down to my weight class and think that you can fight me, bro. You can't box me. Yeah, and I know you was watching my fight on Wicked and Bad Dubai and you're probably shaking your boots now, probably chatting bare, you can't do nothing, yeah? You can't do nothing. You're lucky you got Dom by your side because without him, you would, you, you'd be even worse and you're still shit. So, stay in your lane, Karim, and don't try and come for me because you're not that guy. I promise you guys, this is not going 10 rounds. It's going to be eight, nine rounds, seven max, just so I can give you the entertainment because I don't like this guy. Yeah, he's a waste man. Yeah, I hope you're over. I hope you're training hard, Krim. Hope you're running. Hope you're sweating hard. Hope you're cutting weight. Hope you're doing all everything you can do. Cause come September the eighteenth, you're gonna need every single training you can do. And after training, yeah, you can even get Wallace to give you a session. Because right now you are meaty, bro. Yeah, serious things, bro. Yeah, like as I've said already, like the passion I've got for this guy. Ain't a joke. So this is a serious fight and it's gonna be nice bro. It's gonna be very a good fight. Like I won't take I'm an honest guy, I won't say he can't box, but I'm letting you not know. I'm gonna outbox this guy and smack him all over the floor, bro. Yeah, and it's gonna be a very, 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 very good fight. Yeah. <laughs> Come on my bro man, you good yeah? Love my family bro. Love my bro. See, Krim, you don't have that support because you're not known. You're a waste man. You get it? I can walk on my street and everyone knows who Pro Boxer is, yeah? Because that's who, that's who it is. It's a Pro Boxer thing. You are a nobody and you're going to stay a nobody fixing scooters for the rest of your life. Come welcome me, man. After the fight, nah, we can't, we can't be friends. I'm lying, but I was going to give you a job, but nah, I can't even give you a job. You're just a waste man. You know that? <laughs> Serious things. Like, I walk my neighborhood, I get shown respect because I show back respect and it's just what it's about. Yeah? Wicked and bad for, dude. Be ready for it. <laughs>